Having nine departments in one building creates phenomenal opportunities for us to provide interprofessional education for our students. In addition to academic performance, career counseling, we are focusing on students' wellness, their well-being. Once I graduate with my master's, I plan to pursue research uh, in regards to helping elders in the Latin community or elders who experience difficulty with the English language and getting the, any help that they need and uh, getting them a better quality of life in the United States. We know that many of our students face unexpected financial challenges and other financial barriers that have the potential to derail them from their studies. While COVID-19 exacerbated these challenges, they existed before the pandemic and will continue to exist long after COVID-19 is behind us. To address this need, we created the Student Emergency Fund. Students can use awarded funds toward living expenses like groceries and rent, or towards educational expenses like tuition and books. Our goal is to ensure that every CHP student has access to emergency resources during their time of need, enabling them to stay in school and to continue to progress toward their degree. When I was in high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I know the route I wanted to take was definitely healthcare, but I know I didn't want to go like the nursing or like medical school route. Honestly, the College of Health Professions is the, like the best. And you can honestly tell they genuinely care about their students. They want them to excel in their studies and in life. VC was one of the like main programs close to home. And uh, the OT department is ranked 15th in the nation, so I thought what better option than to be at home with a nationally renowned program. I do have a couple of part-time jobs outside of school. COVID put me out of my part-time work. I actually had just gotten into a car accident in Richmond. It was just a scary experience. had to pay a lot out of pocket, but I applied for the emergency relief fund, was able to get back or be reimbursed what I owed to the insurance company, which helps a lot because I don't want to be like a financial burden to my mom because she's, she's done so much for me. During COVID, she has a small business, so it really hit us hard. She has to pay for my older sister too and me. So just having that relief fund definitely helped me as a student because it's just like, I don't have that financial burden. It just really helped me um, cover my educational expenses like Wi-Fi, um, computer maintenance if I had to go to like the help desk, gas commuting to and from school when I had in-person labs even though those were limited, books, tuition. So it really did, it, it gave me, it took some weight off my shoulders and gave me a little less worry as to financially what I had to cover while in school. So I'm really thankful for that. People should support CHP because these students are the future of healthcare. We can't expect students to um, perform the best that they can do can be once they get on the field if they don't have necessary tools while they're in school. So providing students with these funds helps them not focus so much more on the financial and take away time from their studies and they can really focus on what they're trying to do, which is become healthcare professionals. As you can see, the CHP Student Emergency Fund is having a tremendous impact on our students. Thank you to all the donors for CHP. It's greatly appreciated as a student. We couldn't have gotten this far without you guys. Without your donations, I would not have been able to continue. It has made a big difference in regards to my uh, educational and career goals. To the donors who contributed to the CHP COVID Fund, I just want to say my most sincerest thank you. You really have helped students' lives for the better and helped us focus on what our priority should be, which is school throughout this pandemic. So thank you again, and we're going to be better students and better healthcare professionals for it.